Hubble's shocking discovery beyond the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope has just made its most accurate measurement of the universe's current expansion rate, but it still falls short of the early universe. Scientists now have a new, more precise measurement of the universe's expansion thanks to decades of Hubble Space Telescope data. So, how fast is the expansion rate of the universe? And how does it affect the Earth? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we'll be taking a look at Hubble's shocking discovery beyond the universe. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. The new Hubble Space Telescope data analysis continues the observatory's long-running quest to comprehend how quickly the universe expands and how fast that expansion is accelerating. The number used by astronomers to measure this expansion is known as the Hubble constant, not after the telescope, but after astronomer Edwin Hubble, who was the first to measure it in 1929. The Hubble constant is difficult to calculate because different observatories looking at different parts of the universe have produced different results. A new study, however, evokes confidence that Hubble's most recent effort is accurate for the expansion it observes, although there is still a variation between Hubble and other observatories. The new study confirms that previous Hubble-based expansion rate estimates revealing an expansion rate of about 45 miles per megaparsec. Note that a megaparsec is a unit of measurement equivalent to 1 million parsecs or 3.26 million light years. Given the large Hubble sample size, there is only a 1 in a million chance astronomers are wrong due to an unlucky draw, a common threshold in physics for taking a problem seriously, NASA stated in statement on Thursday, paraphrasing Nobel laureate and study lead author Adam Rees. Rees is affiliated with the Hubble Space Telescope Science Institute, or STSI, and Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. Rees and colleagues were awarded the Nobel Prize in 2011 after Hubble and other observatories confirmed that the universe was expanding faster than previously thought. Rees refers to this latest Hubble effort as a magnum opus because it draws on nearly the entire history of the telescope, 32 years of space work to provide an answer. Under a program called SHOES, Supernova H0 for the equation of state of dark energy, Hubble's data nailed down its observed expansion rate. The data set doubles a previous sample of measurements and includes more than 1,000 Hubble orbits, according to NASA. The new measurement is also eight times more precise than the capabilities of Hubble. Attempts to determine the rate at which the universe is expanding typically focus on two distance markers. The Cepheid stars are variable stars that brighten and dim at a constant rate. Their importance has been recognized since 1912, when astronomer Henrietta Swan Leavitt noted it in imagery she was reviewing. Cepheids are useful for measuring distances within the Milky Way galaxy and in nearby galaxies. Astronomers rely on Type 1a supernova for longer distances. These supernovas have a consistent luminosity, which allows for precise distance estimates based on how bright they appear in telescopes. NASA stated in the new study, the team measured 42 of the supernova milepost markers with Hubble, and because they are seen exploding at a rate of about one per year, Hubble has, for all practical purposes, logged as many supernovae as possible for measuring the universe's expansion. Again, Hubble has been in space for about 32 years, having launched on April 24, 1990. A mirror flaw that hindered early work was addressed by astronauts in December 1993. However, there is still no complete agreement on the rate of expansion across various efforts. According to the new research, Hubble's measurements are approximately 45 miles per megaparsec. When deep universe observations are taken into account, the rate slows to about 42 miles per megaparsec. Deep universe analyses are primarily based on data from the European Space Agency's Planck mission, which observed the echo of the Big Bang that created our universe. The cosmic microwave background is the name given to the echo. 
NASA stated that astronomers are at a loss to explain why there are two different values, but that we may need to reconsider basic physics. According to Reese, it is best to consider the expansion rate not for its exact value at the time, but for its implications. I don't care what the exact expansion value is, but I like to use it to learn about the universe, Reese stated in a NASA statement. More measurements are expected in the next 20 years from the James Webb Space Telescope, which is currently completing deep space commissioning work before looking at some of the first galaxies. According to NASA, Webb will observe Cepheids and Type 1a supernova at greater distances or sharper resolution than Hubble can see, which may help refine Hubble's observed rate. What lies beyond the universe? According to Caltech astrophysicist Sean Carroll, the universe isn't uniform beyond what we can see, and conditions vary greatly from place to place. The cosmological multiverse is one such possibility. We don't know if there's a multiverse in this sense, but because we can't see it, it's best to keep an open mind. Astronomers estimate that the observable universe contains at least two trillion galaxies and a trillion trillion stars, writes Dennis Overby in the New York Times Science. Most of these stars and galaxies are too far away and too faint to be seen with any human-made telescope. Because we can only see so far, Carol explains, we don't know what life is like beyond our observable universe. On large scales, the universe we see appears to be fairly uniform, and this may continue indefinitely. In a report, Fred Adams, a theoretical cosmologist at the University of Michigan, stated that we live within what is called the observable universe, which is the volume of the universe where one thing can affect another, and within this volume we see the universe to be uniform. Remarkably, we can conduct experiments within this volume, and the results so far indicate that the entire volume is extremely uniform. The universe appears incomprehensibly vast from our tiny blue water planet. According to Marco Ahelo, an astrophysicist at Clemson University, who led a team that measured all the starlight ever produced throughout the history of the observable universe, all of the light in the observable universe provides about as much illumination as a 60-watt bulb seen from 2.5 miles away. A 27.4 billion light-year diameter bubble. The observable universe is a 27.4 billion light-year diameter bubble centered on the Earth, growing at a rate of two light-years, one on each side, per year. The universe, like the sea, extends beyond our cosmic horizon and may be infinite, unlike the ocean. What lies beyond the cosmic horizon is the great mystery that may never be solved. Using observations made with space telescopes such as the Hubble Space Telescope, it is projected that there are hundreds of billions, if not trillions, of galaxies in the observable universe. This observable zone, however, may not be of all physical reality. Some cosmologists speculate that our Big Bang wasn't the only one, that physical reality is big enough to encompass an entire multiverse, writes a great British astrophysicist, Martin Rees. Even the most skeptical of astronomers are confident that the volume of space-time within our telescope, what astronomers have traditionally referred to as the universe, is only a tiny fraction of the Big Bang's aftermath. We'd expect far more unobservable galaxies beyond the horizon, says Reese, each of which, along with any intelligences, will evolve rather like our own. By the end of this century, we may be able to determine whether or not we live in a multiverse and how diverse its constituent universes are. The answers to these questions will determine how we interpret our bio-friendly universe, which we will share with any aliens we may encounter in the future. According to Joe Dunkley, professor of physics and astrophysical sciences at Princeton University, who studies the origins and evolution of the universe, the edge of the observable universe is the point beyond which light hasn't had time to reach us since the beginning of time. And that ends our episode. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video. And we'll see you in the next one.